Zodiac and this is Kenny Mason. We are PAs here at Bucky Plastic Surgery and we just would like to welcome you to our virtual Elipor experience. We look forward to educating you further all about Elipor. Please feel free to submit any questions that you have and we'll be happy to review them at the end. We are offering 500 hours off if you sign up within 24 hours of, of the event. Bucky Plastic Surgery, we pride ourselves on offering the most innovative technology to yield the most optimal outcomes. Elipore yields the best skin tightening results because we're physically taking cores of tissue from the area, so the skin's natural response and the body's natural response is to further heal by tightening. So what makes Elicor unique is it is a microscopic microcoring device. So what this means is we are taking microscopic little almost hole punches of your skin from the treated area. When you have excess skin and moderate to severe wrinkles, this these holes or cores get cored out and then our skin further heals by tightening. This is the first device on the market. It's the most innovative technology developed by Harvard over 10 years ago. Dr. Bucky's on the board of development and obviously we want to offer the most innovative technology here. Elicor was FDA approved for moderate to severe wrinkling, but it also treats skin laxity, acne scarring, and many other things. Our ideal Elicor patient is a patient who comes in with complaints of moderate to severe wrinkling or skin laxity. Um, I would recommend Elicor to any patient that has some skin laxity or moderate to severe wrinkles that are looking for some skin tightening results. This machine is also indicated for patients who maybe could be a good surgical candidate. However, they don't have the downtime or the mental willingness to undergo surgery. So because this is a microcoring device, we are taking little plugs of skin, if you will, from the treated area. So be sure and be prepared to know that you're gonna be leaving our office with some pinpoint bleeding. Um, we like to prepare all of our patients to expect at least seven to 10 days of downtime. For the first five of those 10 days, we recommend no makeup or no high intensity training of any kind. Um, our patients can begin to appreciate an improvement 28 days post or a month and optimal textural change typically occurs three to four months close. Hi, how are you? I'm Alexa, so nice to meet you. Hi. I'm one of Dr. Becky's PAs. Nice to meet you. I know you. that you're here for an Elicor consult today, correct? Correct. What brings you in? What bothers you? Well, I've been researching Elicor, but I wanted to come and talk to you because I want to hear all about it. I yeah. want to have more. Absolutely. So Elicor is the first of its kind technology to physically remove these microscopic little cores or hole punches of your skin from the treated area. So looking at you here, seeing these lines here, what this device is going to do is it's going to help take these microscopic little hole punches of skin out of this treated area mm -hmm. and then the skin further heals by tightening so it's going to yield a tightening result okay so basically what to expect would be we're going to apply topical exosomes immediately post to help expedite your healing as quickly as possible you go home for the first five days no makeup no high intensity exercise of any type okay. obviously strict sun protection yeah um and then just gentle skincare products but you're going to look it's, it's going to be intense for the first 10 days we tell every patient seven to ten but i really like to educate my patients it's going to be at least 10. can you walk me through what a day of treatment is like absolutely so we have you come on in we have you sign your consent we take your before photos we get you medicated and comfortable then we sit you underneath the red light and some topical numbing to this area mm -hmm. we let that sit until it's ready for treatment 
treatment. We bring you back to our little OR at the body center and we begin with the local anesthesia. Mm -hmm. The local anesthesia is the most obviously pinchy part because you're going to be feeling those little needles okay. um, to the area. And then we get started with the ellipore. Um, immediately post-treatment, we're going to apply some topical exosomes. These exosomes are going to travel through all those little holes and help expedite your healing and stimulate, you know, the most collagen and give you your best aesthetic outcome. Okay. Um, you are going to leave that day and you're gonna leave with your exosomes and we're gonna have you just use a gentle skincare regimen, use your exosomes. 10 days post, you should start to be kind of coming back to normal. So it's so nice meeting you today. I really look forward to treating you and I hope to see you soon. We wanna thank you so much for attending our virtual event. Please leave any further questions in the chat box for the next 15 to 20 minutes. Look out for a text after the event to book your consultation. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hello everyone. Yes, we oh. are live. Hi uh, everyone, how's it going? I'm My Alexa, name's Kenny. Oh, this is Kenny. We're the PAC or Bucky Plastic Surgery, as you now know after watching us. Um, we are going to be answering all of your Q&As here, so we can get yes, started sir. now. Um, so the first question someone asks is, is there any scar? So um, from what we've seen, um, we've done anywhere from 75 to 100 of these over the past year. Um, we have not seen any severe scarring in any of the procedures that, that we've done. Uh, we do them in our office. We also do them in the surgery center paired with more invasive um, surgeries that can't be done here. Uh, and for the most part, we've been getting awesome results. And then from like a scientific standpoint, Elipor's little needles, they're below the threshold of scarring. So they're less than a half of a millimeter um, in depth, so. All right, the next is you mentioned med medication. What is used? Um, so typically when someone is getting the, the procedure done here, uh, they come in an hour beforehand. Um, we give them one Xanax to take, and that's more to just calm their nerves uh, because they're going to be undergoing a procedure here. They're going to be awake for it. We want to sort of have them calm. Um, so patients take that, um, and then when they go into the procedure room, uh, we use local anesthetic to numb them up. Uh, that's usually the most painful part, um, but it only takes about five to ten minutes. Um, and the more and more that we do, we've gotten much better with our anesthesia technique um, and patients sort of do well. And then afterwards, the procedure itself goes super smooth. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say that's definitely yeah. the most, you know, that's uncomfortable smooth. part. But from there, yeah, it's very smooth sailing. The actual l procedure itself is really easy because the patients now know. So, all right, maybe we should start our questions all the way from the bottom. We have a lot of questions. Gotcha. We really appreciate them. We'll We're going to answer them all. So everyone, uh, so the next with one us. says, is it permanent? So Elipor is physically removing microscopic hole punches of skin. So yes, the answer is it is permanent. However, we do have age against us. So as we age, we're continuing to get these gravitational changes. So the answer is absolutely yes, it is permanent. However, you know, as we're aging, there may be more necessary in the future. Uh, next says this presentation going to be able to be viewed at a later date. Yes, so this yes. is being recorded and anyone who signed up for it will get a link to watch this back. Yep. Will you see your results after just one session? What is your recommendation? Okay, so definitely this is a case by case basis. So that's why we love to have our patients come on in and do a consultation with me or with Kenny. And we're able to really analyze your skin and what your concerns are. Um, personally, I really like to we really pride ourselves on trying to maintain and manage patients' yeah. expectations. Um, so a really amazing result to one patient may be, you know, a patient may want another treatment and may, they may not be happy enough yet. So we just really want to make sure all of our patients are happy. So yes, after just one treatment, we've seen plenty of really happy patients that don't really think it's indicated to get another. And then we've seen other patients who just want a little bit more skin tightening and they get their second treatment and they're very happy after that. Yep. Uh, and then what is the heat healing time? Um, so healing time, um, it's sort of a tough thing to break down with this um, because the cores of skin that we take out, they take anywhere from three to five days to fully close up. Mm -hmm. um, so patients aren't allowed to wear makeup during that time. Mm -hmm. uh, we sort of have you applying the exosomes twice a day at that point mm -hmm. and then for the ongoing uh, timeline. Um, and But after about a week, patients feel good. They feel themselves, but they're still red. You can still sort of see the holes at that point. Mm -hmm. um, so patients don't really want to go out as much. They can wear makeup at that time after the five-day mark. Um, but that redness can sort of last anywhere from one month to four months, which we stress to everyone that gets this done. Um, it's sort of tough to tell who's going to stay red for that long. Most are usually gone within a month. 
Uh, but we like to set expectations to where patients know what they're getting themselves in, into. Um, but usually patients feel fine. They don't really need pain meds after the, the procedure. Um, they can take Tylenol or something like that as needed. But for the most part, they sort of go home, sleep that first night, and by the next day, they feel themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. How many patients at Dr. Bucky's practices have received treatment L4? One. Yeah, so we're anywhere between 75 to 100 um, over the past year. Like I said, um, probably about half have been done in the in the um, procedure room at our office here. The other half have been done in the operating room. Mm -hmm. You keep showing the face and neck. Can this be used to treat crepey skin on arms and legs? So the answer to that is it is currently under investigation. It's not currently FDA approved. So we keep stressing the lower face because that's the FDA approval. We're now seeing the submental area in the neck. I think that's on its way to FDA approval as well. Um, arms and legs, we're, we're definitely, we're trying here at Bucky Plastic Surgery. We aren't we haven't really had our three month mark yet. I don't think. No, our, we've our, done um, besides the, the face, submental, and um, abdomen are the are the areas that we've done the, the most, most of, yeah. um, and we're getting good results there. Yeah. So I think as time goes on and we sort of expand, we will be doing that. All right. Next, uh, okay. what meds? What meds do you use for pain? So we talked about that. What I don't know if you talked about, Kenny. Maybe I missed it. Um, three medications typically are involved during our preoperative visit. Right. Um, so we already talked about the Xanax and that's kind of just to calm you down and relax you during the procedure. But prior to the procedure, if you have any history of cold sores or herpes simplex one, uh, we want to prevent those cold sores from occurring, especially, you know, anytime we create an injury to the face, uh, you're prone to kind of getting that herpes simplex response. So we do like to pre-treat you with Valtrex two days prior, five days post. And then additionally, because we are coring out these, you know, holes, we're creating holes in your skin, essentially. Um, we want to prevent any bacteria from entering the skin. So we do prescribe you an antibiotic to prevent that bacteria from occurring. So we ask that the patients take it for the full course of the week. Next up, how much swelling is there? Um, swelling, I would say, isn't really a big factor. Mm -hmm. um, more of it comes from the tumescent anesthesia that, that, that we use. Um, we do put a good bit of fluid in or around the mouth and the lower face. Mm -hmm. um, so you are swollen immediately post um, procedure, but that goes away within a day and swelling usually isn't um, a common complaint that we hear post procedure. What about treating skin laxity on legs and arms? So this is definitely going to be a yeah. hot topic. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are taking excess skin tissue from the area. So in theory, it makes sense that it should definitely work by healing tighter. Um, it's not FDA approved though. So we're still treating these patients. We're happy to see you definitely for consultation. Um, but yeah, so the answer is yes. We have a question about mild yep. very well. Got it. Will this help with mild gel, jowliness, nasal labial folds, and under the eye? Absolutely. Uh, do you want me to answer? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so those are two of the spots um, we'll 100% help with. Uh, the jowls and the nasal labial folds, mm -hmm. um, those are sort of the FDA approved spots for, for this. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen great results of sort of um, getting some of that skin out and helping with the lax skin and those like fine lines around there. Um, under the eyes, not as much. Uh, we haven't really treated there. Um, and it's not somewhere that we do the treatment on at this point. Mm -hmm. Technically right now the FDA approval isn't, it's not approved for anywhere above the orbital rim. So maybe in the future, but the skin is really thin under there. So not so sure about that. How, How are, are the results from treating neck only? Um, I think the results are, are, are good there. Um, depending on someone's age and how much of lax skin they have, um, that's usually a discussion of if they need a neck lift or if this is enough um, to sort of get them the result that they are looking for. And that's sort of something that we would set up a, a consultation for and would be able to guide you there. Definitely. Can a 72-year-old use this technology if they already had a facelift five years ago? So this is great. This is actually why we brought this into the practice. So. This technology is great because, you know, for the patients who've already undergone a facelift that aren't necessarily either willing to undergo another or they're not there yet, um, this is a great treatment to undergo. So, yes. I understand. I understand seven to 10 days is intense afterwards. Is it bloody and scabby? Um, a little bit, yes, yes. So, um, you will have some dry blood, like post-op. Um, those first 24 hours, you can have little pinpoint spots of blood 
that just sort of happen over time. You just kind of pat with like gauze or a towel to get rid of that. And then sort of after that first or second shower, mm -hmm. um, those sort of bloody spots go, go away. Um, as you heal, you will scab up a little bit, um, but with the exosomes and then using something like Aquaphor after, we like to keep that skin moist, moist. and it usually prevents those from occurring. Mm -hmm. 66 year old female. I love all of these cases, patient cases. This is great. 66 year old female with loose, saggy skin on the upper arms. Can it be used for arms? Everybody wants to know about the yeah. arms. Yeah. Um, yeah. Answers yes. Answers yes. We can <laughs> absolutely do it on the arms. My guess to you is probably for these areas, it may require more treatments. Yes. Um, so I would say this would not be one and done. That would be my immediate gut feeling. How, un how uns unsightly are you, are you after, after the, the procedure? procedure? You're pretty unsightly. <laughs> um, you do have those, you know, you have open wounds, basically. You have all these tiny little hole punches taken out. So there's some pinpoint bleeding associated. I feel like you don't really want to be seen for the first five days. To be honest with you, women definitely have an advantage because after five days, we're able to wear makeup on top. So I think after the five days, you're not unsightly. But for the first few, I personally, as a patient, now, now that I've seen and we've done this many these many patients. I don't would I wouldn't want to be seen. And it's I mean it's almost a good thing that it sort of keeps you in, sort of keeps right. you calm. Prevent You're bacteria. not getting that heart, yeah. heart heart rate up. Yeah. And it gives you gives you some time to heal. Have you personally treated patients with acne scarring on the cheeks? Um, as of right now, we we have not. There's more mm -hmm. studies coming out um, saying that this is really good for acne scars. Yeah. So I think that's going to be something that we do start to offer and treat. Yeah, I'm excited too because a lot of providers in the country are treating acne scars and the results have been really amazing. What are exosomes? I love this question. So exosomes are derived by platelets and platelets are our body's first responders to any type of injury. So imagine you fall, you scrape your knee and now you have a, you know, you have your bleeding. All of your platelets aggregate together to form a clot or a scab. So think of these exosomes as helping to heal a wound. So when we have all these little open wounds, basically, underneath, you know, after treating the patient, this exosome is traveling through all those little holes to not only help repair um, the wound as quickly as possible, but also stimulate the most amount of collagen and promote the most anti-aging benefits. Perfect. Uh, what are the typical number of these procedures needed to obtain an optimal result? Again, so I think like, as we said, it's sort of a case by case thing. Mm -hmm. um, if someone has more lax skin, um, there's a good chance that they're going to need more sessions than someone who's younger and has sort of that skin that can bounce back a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, so it's sort of something that we take case by case. Mm -hmm. Um, how long does Elacor last? Um, so, so like we said, results do last, um, but we are fighting age, we're fighting gravity. Um, so that's sort of something like where a person's age is and those all sort of factor in, but the results are something that we think lasts for a yeah, good amount of time. Cost, number of sessions. So our cost starts at $3,500. Um, and then number of sessions, again, it kind of just varies based on the patient, you know, the patient's skin quality, laxity, et cetera. Have you seen good results from people who would otherwise want a tummy tuck? Um, so I would say for the abdomens, um, it's more for that loose skin above the um, umbo, which is your uh, belly oh, yeah. um, button. Mm -hmm. So like that sort of loose skin that hangs there, this works very well at getting that out and sort of tight and sort of tightening that up. Um, so I wouldn't say that it's something that can replace a tummy tuck. Um, it's more for that skin laxity in the um, abdomen. Um, I wanted to also integrate and talk about how Dr. Bucky now does this in combination in the operating room. Dr. Bucky's um, surgical PA, PA is Kenny. So this is his right hand man, he's the best. Um, but we do this in combination in the OR. During a facelift, you know, especially to the perioral area, the upper lip lines, um, we're now kind of integrating this. So, um, I have to sleep on my side due to obstructive sleep apnea. Will I be able to sleep on the side of my face? Um, yes, you might just have some little pinpoint blood spots to that that first night, um, but it's not something that's going to prevent you from getting this done. Mm -hmm. Do you do the whole face? So think this is your orbital rim here. So we're here down is the FDA approval. We also now do submental area underneath the neck and then the neck as well. 
What if done during your anesthesia technique? Local lidocaine injected in multiple areas. Um, so we use a tumescent anesthesia. So that's a lidocaine epi, and then we use bicarb to sort of take the stinginess out, and it's put in a in a saline, so it's able to di to dilute that all down, um, and then you're able to put more fluid in, which is why I sort of said you have that swelling that first day because you have about anywhere from 75 to 100 cc's of fluid in your face, but that goes away quickly. Um, so we, a lot of these are repeat questions. Being red for a month sounds bad. Something that I did not discuss um, to mitigate symptoms and to kind of help reduce the appearance of the reds, of the red, you know, post-inflammatory erythema is what it's called, just prolonged redness. Um, we treat our patients with BBL broadband light to kind of target that inflammation under the skin to try to help speed up the healing process. Would wearing a mask hide the healing? It would. Yes. So, yeah, we just um, treated a patient today. She when put everyone her mask leaves on. here, they sort of put them put their mask on to go, mm -hmm. um, and we sort of tell them like if they need to be back in the office mm -hmm. on day four or five to just put a mask on over top. Um, mm -hmm. COVID has kind of allowed masks to be worn without people asking questions so that sort of benefits us here definitely is this better tightening than morpheus yes it is the reason why is if we think about it what is microneedling microneedling we're creating a controlled injury with tiny little needles to allow for collagen remodeling whereas l4 is one step up because we're able to take these hollow needles to physically get rid of excess skin so yes this is going to yield far greater skin tightening results how painful is it? Um, so pain is sort of some is sort of very important, yeah right? um, goes case by case. Um, we haven't had anyone stop this due to the pain during, yeah. during it. Uh, and like we said, the sort of numbing up part is the worst, yeah. and we've improved on that um, with each case that we do. Um, so I would say that like pain isn't something that really comes in and is a factor. Yeah, it this. wouldn't hinder your reason to come on in. I would say patients aren't typically, you know, it's not comfortable to have needles in your face, but it's not something that would hinder someone's ability to come in. Can you just have this around lips and lines from nose to corner of Absolutely. the lips? Absolutely, yeah. So we can treat we can treat the perioral area. That's really common, especially if the patient is a little bit nervous to come in and get their whole lower face or mid to lower face treated. Um, something interesting we haven't really discussed is the upper lip. So the upper lip lines are pretty tricky. Um, and as we age, we know our lip gets longer. Uh, so this Elipore device, because we're taking out excess skin tissue, is actually shortening the lip and promoting a lip lift result. So that's really exciting. We're really happy about that. And our results have been really good. So we're excited. Can you be outside in the sun during the first five days? I heard you say no makeup, but can you use sunscreen? Okay. So can you be outside in the sun? Yes. Do I want you to be exposed to the sun? No. So my answer is, if you needed to run errands, that's okay. But for you to be participating in an event outside for multiple hours or anything like that, absolutely not. We don't want to cause any harm, obviously. And we just created this injury to your skin. We don't want to um, have any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which would be difficult, which would just mean uh, we don't want our skin, we don't want any skin yeah. changes, no discoloration. How large of an area can be treated at a time? Uh, this is actually a good question because we had a girl um, in here yesterday who we did her face from here down. We did her neck and we also did her abdomen mm -hmm. in one session. Mm -hmm. um, it took about 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. She had minimal pain during it. Um, I've talked to her over the past few days. She's, do she's doing great. Mm -hmm. um, it's healing up well at home just sort of chilling for the next few few days. Yeah. Um, so with the Tumessa anesthesia, you can treat sort of up to anywhere from two to three spots at once, mm -hmm. um, and patients are able to ha handle that. Do you need to hold aspirin prior, and if so, yeah. for how long in advance? Yeah. yeah, so any blood thinning med, med we're going to want to hold for two weeks before the, the procedure. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something sort of as we schedule you and uh, schedule patients pre-ops, pre that's sort of what comes up. But yes, any blood thinning medication we're going to want to hold yeah. for at least two weeks prior. At this time too, obviously, you know, we have our patients come in for the consult, but I also, after the consult, I book a pre-operative appointment with myself via, usually on the phone with a patient to have a week before the procedure. And we go through everything too, um, just so you know what to expect, you know what to do, you know what not to do. So 
just so you're aware. How many times have you performed this procedure on the face? Um, I think about anywhere from 75 to 100 in the past year. Mm -hmm. um, so we've done a fair bit. Um, I think we're one of the biggest practices in, in, the, the, in the Northeast mm -hmm. and in the um, yeah. country. Uh, what are the co costs? Um, starting cost is $3,500, um, and then just depends on how many procedures um, you've done. How long between each session? Good question. Uh, patients can safely be treated as soon as a month apart from each other. So 30 days post, you can start to treat the patient again. Uh, how, how long, long is the L Corp session? Um, so patients are typically here 60 minutes before their procedure. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of when they get their meds. We take before photos um, and then they sort of uh, relax on our red light bed. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a red light stim mask that we put over their face mm -hmm. to sort of decrease any inflammation, sort of uh, drop their blood pressure and things like that. Um, and then the procedure itself can take anywhere from an hour to two hours, I would say, mm -hmm. depending on how big of an area we're going to treat. Can you kindly repeat the cost as you said it fast and I did not catch it. Thanks. Starting price is $3,500. Obviously, it's dependent on the, the service area that we're treating. Um, how does Elcor compare to Morpheus 8? I think we kind of already briefly discussed this, but long story short is both of them are creating a controlled injury. The difference is Elcor's needles are hollow. Morpheus's needles are pinpoint. So we're physically taking tissue out with Elcor. Morpheus is using radio frequency microneedling. Radio frequency is added heat to further tighten. We do not have any thermal energy, but we do, we are taking skin away. So that's obviously going to yield further tightening. Not sure if you answered this. Who in your office does this? You're looking at <laughs> <laughs> us. And then obviously Dr. Bucky in the operating room too, but, but Kenny's always with him. What else? Does Dr. Does Dr. Bucky do the procedure? Zone? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do them in the operating room. Are you doing consoles for this in the Ardmore office? So at this current moment, no, but I will most likely, the Ardmore people may be seeing me a little bit more because I might be coming to Ardmore one day a week in the future. So yes, the answer is yes, we'll eventually have some consultations in the Ardmore location. Can I drive home or do I need a driver? Good, Good question. question. And so do you approve Uber? Um, no, so Uber. if you are taking a Xanax before the procedure, you will, you will need a ride home. And it will have to be someone that you know. Just from a liability standpoint, totally. um, we don't want anyone getting into like a ride share um, yeah. for, for them to, to get home, especially when they're under the influence. Yeah, of course. So, okay, next question. How does it work? How does it work if you do your abdomen? Would you need to wear loose clothing and for how long? Um, so, not as so. I would recommend loose clothing for the first um, day or two. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, you can sort of wear clothes because those holes close up quick. Mm -hmm. um, you will be putting like exosomes or aquaphor over top of it. So for those first couple of days, I would wear clothing um, that you sort of don't really care if it gets sort of messed up. Mm -hmm. um, and then after about a week, you're sort of healed at that point and you can wear whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, you will be red, so it's not something that you're going to want out in the sun. Um, but through clothes, no, no one will be able to see that you've had the, the procedure done. I just thought of a commonly asked question during my consults. So obviously being um, a plastic surgery office, we have a lot of injectables here. The current recommendation oh, is no dermal fillers to the treated area within six months of being treated. If you did have a dermal filler in the last six months, we would need to dissolve that filler. The reason why is when we core out the skin, that dermal filler is coming through and we don't want to cause any abnormalities. Yep. So just FYI, it's no big deal. We do have the filler. We just need to be obviously notified and you just need to understand that we will need to dissolve it. Is one time enough to see a difference? Again, yes. Okay. The yeah. answer is yes, but obviously we want to see our patients to give them our recommendation. How quickly do you see Good partial question. and full results on the lower face? So answer is you can start to appreciate results as soon as 28 days post, which is a month, obviously. Um, originally, they told us three to four months post was optimal, but now we're seeing now that it's been out longer and longer, actually six to nine months post, they're seeing even better effects and actually skin quality is improving as well. So FYI, yep. fun fact. Uh, what is more effective, laser treatment or Elcor? So both are great treatments. Um, if you think about it, 
laser is working to basically put light and heat into the skin to allow for collagen remodeling and there is absolutely no heat involved in elipor so laser is great to help prevent against pre-cancer and help with sun damage so when you're thinking of sun damage and textural concerns and um you know pores fine lines you can think of resurfacing laser options whereas Elephor is for skin tightening. If you really, your main primary focus is skin tightening, then I would definitely choose Elephor. What OR do you use? Um, so we have two surgery centers that we operate. Um, one is the Tuttleman Surgery Center affiliated with Penn. Um, the other one is Vincera Surgery Center. Um, and then we do the treatments in office at the Bucky Body Center at our 1915 Samsung lo mm -hmm. location in the city. Mm -hmm. um, and th that, those procedures are the ones that are done awake with me and Alexa. Mm -hmm. What determines whether you are in the operating room or a treatment room? So really, I think the patients, you know, it's all about what brings them in, what their concerns are. If this is a surgical patient, a facelift candidate that wants to undergo surgery, we could do it in combination with l That would obviously, you know, warrant. Yes. In the actual OR. The um, if you wanted some skin tightening improvement without having to undergo surgery, then we can definitely do it here in the Bucky Body Center. Mm -hmm. There's there's sense. also times where they're in for a consult uh, for something else, whether they're getting a breast lift or something done to their abdomen mm -hmm. and they bring up that they don't like here. Mm -hmm. um, and we just sort of add that on and it's done in the middle of their procedure. Um, and they only have to go on their right. anesthesia One once, time. makes yeah. things very easy for Seamless, them, yeah. and they're able to heal up all at once. That's a good point. Can you tell me more about the Bucky Plus membership discount for Elcor? We sure can. So I know that you get $500 off your Elcor treatment if you book your consultation with us within the next 24 hours. Um, so. And then the Bucky Plus membership. So there's a whole bunch of other stuff included yeah. in that. Mm -hmm. um, you get four skincare products throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, so the membership sort of pays for itself there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get discounts on Botox, filler, um, and a bunch right of here. other um, tre treatments that we offer yeah. here. So $100 off, I'm just going to read off some there things. <laughs> $100 off each neurotoxin treatment. Every syringe of filler. We're actually going to also display this lovely Hannah. Thank you. Um, cryotherapy package of five, compression therapy package of five, facial massage and ma uh, massage series of three, so that's $100 off, $500 off a Moxie laser series, mirror dry, ultimate contour, or a laser hair removal series of six, and then lastly, which is obviously what we're talking about today, $1,000 off the L4 microcoring device, semi-glutide weight loss program, Morpheus 8, and then cool sculpting. So if you were to sign up for the Bucky Plus membership, this would be $1,000 off. But if you um, book your consultation today, that'll be $500 off. So overall, that'll be over $7,200 in annual savings if you sign up with the Bucky Plus program. Please reiterate, is this FDA approved for flying squirrel arms? Flabby, hanging <laughs> old skin. Wow. Um, so it is not FDA approved for it. Um, there are places that treat the arms. We've done a few arms and we've seen good, good results. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's something in the near future, it will be FDA approved, mm -hmm. um, but it is an area that, that, right. that you can treat. But yeah, can absolutely be treated. Do you offer financing for this treatment? Yes, we do. Um, through patient buy, um, we are, you're able to finance this over 12 months. Um, there's zero interest. Um, so you're able to pay that over an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. Um, and then if you use the Bucky Plus membership, you're able to get that cost down even more. If not done in the OR, do you do the procedure at the Montgomery Ab office? Currently, we do not. Uh, so that would probably warrant you to come on into the city and see us at the body center. Any other questions? This has been good, I think. I think so, too. So as a reminder to everyone, oh. you will be receiving a text message. And just please reply with the code word Bucky to be contacted. Okay, for consult. And now, of course, I got two mm. more questions. Is it effective Is it for, for cellular, cellular issues? issues? No, oh, no, no. Oh, but okay. if you stay tuned, not today, we're going to talk um, about. Me a new... and Alexa also <laughs> do a treatment for that um, called Ovulate. It's amazing, um, but we'll talk about that. We don't want to step on Elicor's toes, <laughs> um, but it, it's is totally a, different. It, it is a true treatment that we do. Um, that's also done in the um, office as well. Yes. Can you post the Bucky Bucks details? Um, I'm not sure if we're able to post that on here. 
Um, but if you go on our website or on our Instagram page, uh, there should be a link that gives you all the information of the Bucky Plus membership. Um, and if you call one of the offices, um, you'll be able to talk to one of our patient co coordinators uh, and get signed up for that. Is there a plan to have this in the Ardmore? Everybody in Ardmore yeah. really wants this. Okay. Um, currently, there's no plan, but never say never. never. There's a lot of patients who really want, you know, We're really happy to drive can, out there. Yeah, we can come out to Ardmore maybe one day. Um, all right. Well, this was great. This is really Very productive. Nice. Hopefully, everyone feels more educated about Elcor. Again, I'm Alexa, this is Kenny, we're Dr. Bucky's PAs, and we are more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, I might regret saying this because I'm probably gonna get a lot of emails, but our emails are our name at drbucky.com if you have any further questions. Yep. Um, we'd be more than happy to see you. We're so excited to see you for your consultation and feel free to reach out. And just as a reminder, if you book your consult in the next 24 hours, you get $500, $500 off. off. Um, and then if you sign up for Bucky Plus, it's a thousand dollars off. Yeah. So, so thank you yeah, all for thank you joining. Thank you so much. Thanks uh, for this joining. This was a blast. And yeah, hopefully so we see we see you all soon. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Safe.